silly factor is is engaged. See, this is this is how you look. Just to give you an idea. Love that flip screen. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't have a career, which is fucked uh, up. Okay, Charlie. Go for it, then. Yeah. Okay, discussing a little bit now uh, about farming business. Mm. Um, one aspect of it that I'd like to focus on, or that, that you've uh, we've already talked about a lot, is uh, the volunteer labor. Uh -huh. Now, volunteer labor, uh, just between me and the folks, um, is it provides a lot of opportunities. It gives you some exercise, a little time off from what you're doing, a little chance to learn a trade, uh, and uh, perhaps you know a little um, temporary time to where you can figure out whether that's something you like or not. Charlie, how long have you been doing volunteer uh, workers, allowing those in on your property? Kind of from day one. Okay, since the beginning. Uh, people naturally. Uh migrated up the hill let's say from the beginning okay so we're looking at six seven years yeah. uh, in your experience yeah great what is the arrangement if you can just kind of go from A to Z without yeah. too much detail well in the very oh. beginning there was no facility in the farm to offer so there wasn't really any way to put a charging system let's say okay uh, I feel anyway you have to give people some basics you know uh, and if you can't offer it then you can't really ask in return little tutorial aspect that goes with uh, the program there yeah and uh -huh. then eventually when we got the farm more up to standard like for example you know a toilet came and a roof came and a door and a window like let's talk about actual like facility basics uh, a kitchen a space bedding uh, like, because in the very beginning it was rough, man. It was a piece of plastic and a shovel and a, a cutting tool and a pick. So <laughs> what are you going to ask people for? You know, all you can say is thanks for being here. Right. And really there was some genuine people who genuinely were there for being there. Right. Uh, but as things grow and, you know, your shorts turn into big boy pants, uh, Anyway, everything took investment, like it took money to make a toilet, it takes money to put a kitchen, it takes money to have a facility, it takes money to put beds, it takes money uh, to make the world go around, it seems. So, what we started doing in the end was uh, we reached the point of charging people 500 rupees a day. And like this, at least we can guarantee that the meals are there, uh, the timing is there. Uh, your tea, your coffee, uh, all the basics, bedding, blankets, uh, washing facility, hot water, shower, you know, uh, not just a piece of plastic on the side of a hill in the Himalayas. Uh, and like, and as well, we ask for volunteers to give five hours a day. And usually how we divide it is we do like three hours in the morning, after morning coffee, let's say and then we do another two hours in the evening after like two o'clock so, so five for you five hours a day is the responsibility or the requirement uh, yeah let's say it's kind of like a requirement if people like to do more it's very welcome but uh mm -hmm. kind of ask for for five hours a day to to balance out the situation a bit okay. and as well anything less than that doesn't really give uh, much of an immersion and asking for more than that is is not really always uh, practical especially like considering we're in the in tropical climes like maybe sometimes in the daytime it's ridiculously hot out here and none of us want to go working in the middle of the day in june july in the in, in asia you know sure so like this we do plus as well uh people are most productive i find in the early mornings you know so it's nice to kind of like and most energy is there so anyway, in general, whether it's myself and staff or myself and friends, like the, we, we always do our biggest push in the morning.